Dick Scobie, Judy Resnick, Ron McNair, Mike Smith, Ellison Onizuka, Greg Jarvis, Krista McAuliffe. Thirty years ago this day, their dreams of exploring the heavens were cut short on live television. A good part of the world stopped turning. America was forever changed, and to this day, the questions haunt us. Did we learn anything? Why did this not end up the practice of covering up the truth? Why did this not demand NASA never again put people at risk of something even deadlier than space travel itself? The Challenger anniversary. Our guest is a former Pennsylvania congressman, former chair of the House Science, Space and Technology Committee, and one who was headed for space himself one day until Challenger and her crew fell to Earth in pieces. Welcome Robert Walker to the hard line. Congressman, pleasure to get a chance to talk to you. Tough on a day like this. I'm just curious right off the top, when a day like this does come around the 30th time that has happened, how you feel? Well, it's a sad anniversary, uh, and I knew uh, nearly all of the people that were aboard that flight, and uh, it, was a, it was a great tragedy, particularly since so much uh, attention had been paid uh, to the first teacher in space. And so we had young people all over the country who were watching that uh, shuttle take off and uh, to have it end in tragedy was uh, was really a very, very uh, sad occasion. I was a space kid myself, read a lot of books on this, I've read just about everything that I can get my hands on ever since the Apollo 1 accident actually happened. And as I read, Congressman, all I keep seeing are the words cover-up, failure, failure of leadership in so many ways, failure to see the problems and to do something about them before they happened. Would you agree then that that is something that we still to this day need to look at why this was allowed to happen? Well, it certainly uh, caused us to uh, take another look at the way in which we uh, both uh, built the technology, managed the technology, and, uh, and also uh, 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 highlighted the fact that uh, this is a very risky enterprise. I mean, we'd known from the outset uh, that the shuttle uh, was a very, very uh, magnificent flying machine, but was also a place where there were about 136 uh, units in it uh, where catastrophic failure was a problem. Uh, the O-rings uh, that uh, ultimately failed on Challenger uh, were one of those uh, points of uh, potential ca catastrophic failure. Uh, and um, uh, sadly, uh, there were people who suggested uh, when Challenger uh, launched that day that this was not a good day to uh, launch because the O-rings uh, did not perform well uh, in temperatures that low. Uh, but there were a lot of pressures on NASA, pressures that they finally admitted uh, during the uh, course of the commission uh, investigation. Uh, that um, uh, that they probably shouldn't have flown that day. But isn't that just the part itself? Look, there are risks that need to be taken. When you're an explorer, when you do something like this, you accept the risks, as that crew did and so many others did. But they have to be smart risks. You have to have faith sure. in a lot of people behind you. And you've also got to have the leadership that then is able to say, for instance, on the day the Challenger happened, no, there's ice out there. There's a problem. We need to stop. So at the end of the day, Congressman, did a lack of leadership cost us Challenger's crew, Columbia's crew, and in many ways cost us our manned space program. That's, uh, that's certainly uh, one of the um, conclusions that the uh, commission came to and that we in the Congress, uh, who also investigated the matter, uh, came to as well, that, um, that the leaders uh, who should have known better uh, decided uh, to take uh, what amounted to additional risks and, and uh, put the crew in jeopardy. So um, uh, it, is, it, it is just a fact that uh, space is a risky business, uh, but um, uh, the risk should be mitigated by good leadership, no doubt about it. So when we look going forward then, Congressman, in your opinion, we've learned from the tragedies, and I go to Apollo 1, Challenger, Columbia, have we learned enough for us to move forward, or have we put ourselves in such a, a terrible place when people look and think of cover-ups that it's going to be nearly impossible in our generation, in our lives, to go back into space again. Well, of course, we are in space. I mean, uh, one of the my, most uh, wonderful things that uh, the U U.S. has done in uh, modern times uh, is build uh, this uh, space station that people kind of forget about uh, is flying out there uh, with uh, full-time crews on it. Uh, and uh, But we are taking absolute... rides from the Russians, though. We are taking, we are taking rides from, from the Russians right now. But thanks to a different direction that we're taking the uh, space program, uh, and namely uh, to allow commercial enterprise uh, to begin uh, to launch people into space, uh, we're going to be back in the, the business of flying Americans to space uh, on American vehicles uh, within about a year or, or a year and a half. 
Uh, and so uh, we're moving ahead, uh, and I think we're doing so in ways which are very smart. Uh, and in the, in the course of that, we're actually bringing down the costs uh, that it's going to take to go to orbit. So, so there are a lot of very good things happening out there right now. The costs always come up. I only have 60 seconds left. Look into the eyes of those people who ask this one question every single time. Why is it so important for us to spend billions of dollars and go to space, man space travel? Because it, it pushes us to, to a frontier, uh, both technologically and um, uh, intrinsically, uh, that Americans have always uh, gone for. And uh, I think that uh, exploration uh, leads to uh, all kinds of uh, advances for the country. Fair to say that the three on Apollo 1, the seven on Challenger, the seven on Columbia, if we had the opportunity to speak to them today, they would say, go for it. Don't stop. You have to move forward. That's exactly right. All of, all of them understood the risks, but they also understood that what they were doing was very important to the future of this country and, uh, and the future of the world. And it is the future of this country that is at stake here. It is the future of the world. And quite frankly, there's a lot of good that has come out of manned space travel over the years. Not to take anything away from those who send up a lot of the satellites, a lot of the missions right now that are unmanned, but America needs to get back in space. We were a leader. We should do it. And we need that proper leadership again. Congressman Robert Walker, always a pleasure to get a chance to talk to you, my friend. Thank you so much. What do you think? Should we spend the money? Do we need to get back into space? Is it important to you as an individual and to your thought of society to get back into space? You tell us about it. Now, Challenger was not an isolated incident. To this day, we fail to honor the true heroes. It's time to step back and realize what we lost and where we need to go from here. That's my commentary and telling it like it is next on The Hardline.